You're rich and famous for doing practically nothing. Sometimes your face is on the money. Being a part of a royal family sounds idyllic, doesn't it? Even if you aren't a king or queen, being a part of a royal family comes with a level of prestige and privilege that most can only dream about. However, it also has downsides, like family trees that grow in straight line, and sometimes royal curses. Welcome to History Scalpel, and in today's video, we will look at some juicy royal curses. The twins became the curse of a nation. Kids, for many monarchies, the birth of a child is something to celebrate, as it means a family's name, power, and influence can live on. However, what happens if twins are born? Well, according to the Zulu people of Africa, it's a very, very bad thing. The so-called Zulu curse demonstrates this. When Princess Mkhibi Kajama was born in Zulu in 1750, she and her twin sister unwittingly set off a firestorm. Their father, King Jama, bucked traditional logic and allowed both girls to live, which unleashed a curse upon the land. Of course, two kids can also lead to two curses. It's been stated that the curse the girls brought to the lands were responsible for the death of their own mother and the eventual death of their father. Worse yet, when Princess Maccabi took power, she produced no male heirs to lead the nation. However, when her younger Shaka was old enough, the princess ceded power to her brother. Finally, the land had a male ruler again. Best of all, there was only one of him. Sunny days ahead, right? Yeah, not so much. Shaka Zulu was extremely violent and for some reason took his anger out on his own people, killing them by the thousands. Eventually, Princess Maccabi grew tired of her brother's actions and conspired with her other brothers to kill Shaka. As he lay dying, Shaka uttered a curse that in many ways doomed the nation. You will never rule this land. It will be ruled by the sparrows, who will fly across the sea and build their nest high up on the cliffs. Stories persist that this string of words led to white invaders coming to their homeland and overthrowing the next king. It was a real case of, if I can't have the throne, no throne for you. Aren't little brothers the worst? The River, Widow, and the Curse Curses are strange. Sometimes they can be very vague and mysterious, while other times they can be remarkably direct and specific. A perfect example of the latter dates back to 1612 in India, when the new ruling family was cursed with the following words. May Talakudu be filled with sand and become a barren land. May Malangi turn into a whirlpool. May the Woodyas never have children. It may not shock you that history is filled with conquest. There has pretty much always been someone looking to take a royal family's power and lands. However, sometimes a supposed victor can still lose by winning. The spoken curse was the result of Raja Woodyear deposing Turu Mala Raha, who ruled Mysore, India in 1612. The battle was bloody and vicious, but in the end, Raja Woodyear ascended to the throne. The family is still in power today, in fact. During the battle, Turu Mala Raha's wife, Alamilama, managed to escape though Raha Woodyear's soldiers quickly hunted her down, and she was cornered on the edge of a riverbed. She knew that the end was near, so rather than give in to whatever fate the men in front of her had in store, she took matters into her own hands and dove into the river. Along the way, she spit that curse, her final words. As a result, if you observe the Woodyear family tree, six rulers since the 17th century have been adopted sons. So there have been some truth to her words curse may have been broken in 2017 when the ruler at the time, himself an adopted son, and his wife became the first Woodyear baby in 54 years who happened to be a male heir. The Curse of Wrestling's Royal Family There are all sorts of royal families. Some political families can be considered royal families, for example. Even the niche world of professional wrestling has had several of its own royal families, such as the Hearts, the Rhodes, the Guerreros, and the Anoia family, aka the family that gave us Dwayne The Rock Johnson. All of these families have produced talent who've risen to the top of the pro wrestling business over the years. However, one of wrestling's most prolific royal families, the Von Erichs, has seemingly been cursed. As most detailed by the recent biopic The Iron Claw, the Von Erich curse has taken the lives of five of the six sons born to the family's patriarch, Fritz Von Erich, a.k.a. Jack Atkinson. In the world of pro wrestling, Jack, a well-respected athlete from Texas, took on the evil German persona to get fans to boo him. In 1959, Jack's infant son, Jack Jr., was electrocuted in the family home. This technically predates the Von Erich curse, as Jack Sr. had yet to change his name to his more famous one. Sadly, though, more deaths followed. In 1984, while on a tour of Japan, beloved wrestler David Von Erich, aka the Yellow Rose of Texas, died mysteriously of inflammation of the small intestine. Though some believe other factors were involved. In 1987, Mike, the fifth Von Erich son, took his own life following an injury and drug arrest. 
and his death would be followed by that of younger brother Chris, who was the smallest of the brothers and suffered from brittle bone syndrome. He also took his own life in 1991. Finally came the death of the modern-day warrior, a.k.a. the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. In 1994, like his other brothers, Kerry took his own life while looking down the barrel of a long jail sentence for drugs. Interestingly, Kerry had been suffering from a horrific injury for years that he kept hidden after losing part of his foot in a motorcycle accident years before. Kerry was so secretive he would shower with his boots on. We could do a whole video about this family. The only surviving brother put it best by saying, I used to have four brothers, now I'm not even a brother. The Curse of the Ruby and the Black Prince Let's be real, humankind is pretty simple. We like to think we're evolved and smart. For example, even the most important people in the land still crave and give value to what are essentially shiny rocks. Sometimes that can prove to be a problem. Such is the case of the ruby and the curse of the Black Prince. The ruby in question is also described by rock lovers as a spinel, which is a precious mineral, believed to hold the power to increase physical energy and stamina. It's part of the royal family's state crown. As the story goes, in 1300, the stone was owned by Moorish Prince Abu Said. However, it was desired by Don Pedro, who was the Christian ruler of Castile, Spain. Being two reasonable men, Don Pedro invited Prince Abu to dinner. The prince was so honored that he gave Don Pedro the stone, and the two parted as friends. The end? Well, not really, though it was the end of Prince Abu. Don Pedro's men completely slaughtered their guest. It's said that Don Pedro murdered the prince himself while also stealing the ruby. Oh, did we forget to mention that Don Pedro's nickname was Pedro the Cruel? <laughs> Shocker, we know. This is where the curse began to take shape. Shortly after stealing the shiny rock, Don Pedro's empire was in peril, so he looked to the British for help. Don Pedro traded the ruby to Edward I of England, aka the Black Prince, so called because of the black armor he wore. Within three years, both of these men were dead. Reports suggest that the Black Prince had died a painful death, with his own son, King Richard, also dying. The moral? Don't lust after and kill for shiny rocks. A witch's curse is felt a lifetime later. There are countless children's stories that involve an evil witch placing a cruel curse on someone, right? Well, history has proven that sometimes fact is stranger than fiction. Take, for instance, the case of the Grimaldi family, who ruled the nation of Monaco for almost a thousand years. As the legend goes, centuries ago, a woman who was a witch was either burned at the stake for a crime of witchcraft, or a woman who was kidnapped and assaulted by Prince Rainier I became a witch and placed a curse on the family with the following words, Never will a Grimaldi find happiness in marriage. Now, to be fair, according to some of our married friends, those words aren't exactly exclusive to the Grimaldi curse. However, all one has to do is look at the litany of failed marriages in the family to see their effects. Perhaps most famously was Prince Rainier III's failed marriage to Princess Grace Kelly, which tragically ended with her death in 1982. Then we have Rainier III's daughter Caroline's trio of failed marriages. Sadly, one of her marriages also ended due to her husband's sudden death, making her both a divorcee and a widow. Finally, we have Princess Stephanie, Caroline's sister, whose own marriage ended just a year after it began in no small part due to her husband cheating on the princess with a woman who had the title of Miss Nude Belgium. Yes, that was really a thing. So maybe just be nice to everyone so you don't risk ticking off a witch who may curse your family. Just a thought. Thank you so much for watching today's video on royal curses. As you can see, being part of a royal family isn't all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes being born into a royal family can be a curse in its own right. It's a good thing so few of us have such horrible problems. And if you're part of a royal family, best of luck. <laughs>